everybody. Uh, we are very excited that you've joined us today to learn more about Penn State Altoona's mental health initiatives and the at-risk gatekeeper training simulation. My name is Glenn Albright. I'm a clinical psychologist and the director of applied research here at Cognito Interactive, also a, a, fac a faculty member in the psychology department at a local university here. And we're very fortunate to have joining with us today Dr. Joy Himmel. Joy, if you could tell us a little bit about yourself. Sure. I'm the uh, director of the Health and Wellness Center here at Penn State Altoona, and I direct the services of health services or primary care, uh, counseling and psychological services, health education, and also disability services. Okay. Also joining us today is Mr. Ron Goldman, who's been involved uh, at the very conception of the product at risk, and I've invited him here to help us out. Uh, the agenda today is uh, first looking at Penn State Altoona's mental health model, including the strategy for developing the model, some great sample initiatives that Penn State Altoona has developed. Uh, then we'll get into the at-risk gatekeeper training simulation for faculty and an upcoming one for students, and talk about best practices in implementing mental health initiatives, and uh, leave time for questions and answers. Now, before we begin, I just want to remind you that you can ask a question by going to the question box in the right-hand side, lower right-hand side of your screen, where you can type in your questions. And I encourage you to do so uh, right along. If we don't get to them immediately, we'll certainly uh, get to them near the end of the simulation, excuse me, the uh, webinar. And lastly, um, we will be sending you copies of this PowerPoint presentation uh, so you can use it for the content and so on. So to begin with, on a common ground, because I'm sort of you know, preaching to the choir here, I know that you all are very well aware of the statistics uh, uh, in suicide among college students, but still um, it, it is sobering where we have over 1,300 suicides per year uh, in American colleges and almost 10% of the students seriously consider suicide in the past 12 months. And as a teacher, that's, that's incredibly sobering for me because if I have a, a class, let's say, of 100 students, which is not uncommon for me to teach, uh, you're talking about 10 of them who have seriously considered suicide and many, many more who are reporting uh, uh, functioning, being compromised due to, due to uh, depression. So the statistics are very alarming and, and when you present those to faculty, uh, it really gets their attention. Uh, we see, statistically speaking, too, that less than 9% of students seek help at their counseling centers, and almost 80% of the students that commit suicide are not seen by a counselor. These last two stats really point to the importance of effective gatekeeper training. 